Like if you need something external to motivate you, like you need to put on a motivational speech or something, what is that speech actually doing for you? It's changing your mind. Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I want to talk about motivation because I feel like hard work and like striving for success and even the idea of success is such a huge thing right now. And everybody is like trying to pursue something and looking for ways to feel motivated. So I'll probably do a separate video on like the idea of working hard because there's so much I could say about that. So I'm going to keep this video just for motivation. And I feel like motivation is just, it's made to be such a separate thing or like something that you need to chase, just like the goal. It's like, you need to find ways to feel motivated and all of this kind of bullshit, but you can never feel motivated 24 seven. Like, I should say that straight away. You can't feel motivated 24 seven. I feel like inspiration is more important anyway than motivation. Cause like what even is motivation? It's literally like the physical urge to do something, you know, like to take the action. But as we already know, every action that you take starts with thoughts and starts with beliefs. So motivation is not really that important like motivation would come naturally once you have your mind right once you have your mind focused on like the positive and you've removed the fear then the motivation will come anyway it will be a natural thing and you won't even feel that constantly anyway because of this is a human experience like we feel lower emotions so there's going to be days where you're not motivated you're not inspired you don't want to do anything like sometimes you just want to fucking lay there and watch tv all day like this happens because it's like we can't physically be active 24 7 you need rest like that's why we sleep we literally i swear we literally sleep for like a third of our life literally like we actually sleep for that long you need rest you need downtime and like your mind is racing constantly like your mind is always active it's always thinking so you need that time to be quiet and still and calm and like reset and recharge you know especially in today's world where everything is all active and like external and running around and like constantly busy I guess and there's definitely a push for the message that you need to be busy 24 7 and you really don't like you wear yourself out and then you won't actually be productive anyway so motivation is not something that you can hold on to and it's not something that you should be like trying to find or trying to seek because that means you're seeking it in an external thing that means like it's coming from a lack mentality that you don't have it or like like if you need something external to motivate you, like you need to put on a motivational speech or something, what is that speech actually doing for you? It's changing your mind. It's shifting your mindset, you know? Like when you feel pumped to go and do something, it's because your mind is free of fear. It's ready to go do it because it believes in it. It wants to do it. It knows you're capable of doing it. So like every time you seek motivation, you're seeking external validation, you're seeking the external to give you the concept that you are worthy of doing it, like, you want the external to tell you that it's okay for you to go forward, so natural motivation would be internal, because you've shifted that fear, but if you constantly have to get the outside world to shift that fear for you, then you're going to forever be seeking motivation. You're going to forever be watching motivational talks and like going to the conferences and watching YouTube videos on how to be motivated. Like you're going to forever be doing that because it's like an endless external cycle. I hope this makes sense because I'm like forgetting what I've even said already. <laughs> and we're only like, I don't even know, like two minutes in. But it's literally is so external like I swear every single concept that comes from society is just such an external thing that keeps you away from yourself and I kind of find it funny now because I was attached to all of these things for so long I would literally binge watch motivational like speeches and videos and like you know how you get the sports ones where it's like an athlete doing something and the dramatic music and it gets you so hyped like I would watch these all the time but you'll forever need to watch them, you know? Like, 
because that doesn't last. It's a shift in your emotions in that moment. But then the fears immediately come back because you're not tackling the root. You're not tackling the belief that you actually hold. You're just trying to like feel good in that moment with somebody telling you, yes, you should do it. You should go and chase your dreams. You're, you're worthy, you're capable. Like they're affirming that to you, but you're not affirming it to yourself. So you're not gonna hold on to that motivation. It's not gonna stay there. It's not sustainable. It's an external validation, an external idea. And someone just yelling it to you, <laughs> but you're not actually believing it. You're not internalizing it and like shifting your own mind. So yeah, I just think motivation is like, it can get like confused and like misconstrued and stuff and make you feel like that's what you're lacking. Like, if I just had motivation, then I would get everything done. Everything that I want to do, I would get it done. I just need to feel motivated. But then you don't feel motivated because the fear voice always comes in and you're not tackling the fear voice. So it's not going to stay. That's not to say that you can't feel motivated, You, but you'll naturally feel motivated in yourself. Like, because you'll believe in what you're doing. You'll believe in who you are. You know, like even me filming this video today, I literally had to battle with my mind to get me to fucking film because it was like, you're not good enough to do this. Like, why are you trying to sit there and tell people about the mind? Like, you're not qualified to talk about the mind. Why are you trying to sit there and talk to people and like tell them about your experiences? Like nobody gives a fuck about your experiences. What are you doing? <laughs> this was literally the cycle that I was going through all day this morning all day this morning, that doesn't even make sense, all morning, I was literally going through this mental battle of like, fear, it's just fear, and it's literally fear of the external, it's fear of what people will think, it's fear of how it will look, and all of that is fear of judgment of others, and that tends to be the main fear, like core-based belief that we hold on to as to why we don't pursue our dreams, because if that wasn't there, I guarantee you would be doing way more than what you feel like you're doing right now like I guarantee you would be so much more inspired and then when you're inspired ideas come to you you know so that's how you move forward because the ideas come because you're so inspired and you're so in tune with like your intuition and your excitement for it and it's coming from your heart and you're passionate about what you're doing so then new ideas new opportunities everything comes up because the fear is released and like you're open to it, you're open to the ideas, you're open to everything, you're open to your life and the experience. So oh, I feel like I've just rambled loads and I need to like take a breath. But so like fear just comes up all the time and that is exactly the thing that holds us back. So when you're looking for motivation, when you're feeling unmotivated, when you're feeling uninspired, when you're feeling like anxious and confused and uncertain of what you want to do take a minute to look at what your mind is saying to you like listen to the stories that it's saying because chances are it's there telling you some kind of fear thing and that's why you're feeling down like our, our emotions are triggered by our thoughts they don't just appear out of nowhere they're triggered by a thought even when you're not aware of what the thought is saying like you could feel like an emotion just came out of nowhere but it hasn't it's come from you it's come from what you're listening to what you're telling yourself what you're believing so if you're feeling unmotivated listen to that story you know, listen to what it's saying because you can't change what it's saying you can't change the route and change like how motivated you feel until you actually have awareness of it and once you get the awareness of it then you'll know what it is at right now and then you'll be able to figure out what you want it to be and then you can like go through the phase of transitioning it and of course that journey could take all lifetime because I mean that is kind of why we're here and even when you get past it it comes up again I've already said this in my last video but cycles always repeat and it's happened for me even today, you know? One day you could feel so motivated, so ready to go and do everything, and then the next day you could feel like absolute shit. And it literally is coming from your voice in your mind. It's always your mind that, ugh, it makes us hesitate, makes us second guess ourselves, makes us question everything. But it's just a voice in your head, like it's not actually your true subconscious, like it's not really who you are. It's just the ego and it's just a part of the experience and it is there for a reason so like there's no need to beat ourselves up over it 
it's just about gaining awareness of it and honestly once you gain awareness of it it makes it so much easier because if I wasn't aware of the stories that were going on in my head I would not be sitting here filming right now I would have completely listened to it and then just sat there feeling like absolute shit which I almost could have done like I almost did <laughs> I literally did have to sit there for a minute but I sat there to hear it and then I managed to talk myself out of it everything is a mental game as yeah I'm sure you probably know by now <laughs> like it's just all in the mind so in order to feel motivated you've got to change your mind and that means blocking out the external not feeding into it when you feed into it you're going to constantly be chasing it and constantly have it and then lose it and then have it and then lose it like that's what it's there for that's why consumerism is so huge because you constantly want the next thing you know and i feel like motivation you could even say is a bit like that where you're chasing it and chasing it and the goal you're chasing it and chasing it because you feel like it's not yours because you feel like you're not good enough so you need to find it so i feel like i went on such a rant right now <laughs> i don't even know how that happened but anyway so i think that's all i wanted to say possibly but maybe i'll do another video i'll probably do one on um hard work and stuff like that i literally posted on a, a like quote thing on instagram yesterday about it so that kind of inspired this video but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye i need a man that will hold me down if he a yes man i ain't keeping him around I need a